Jingle Bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an arcade stitch in crochet. This is a really cute little pattern which kind of reminds me of ocean waves or even mermaid scales. <laughs> so I hope that you really enjoy making this pattern. To get started we need to make some chains and we want to make those in multiples of 8 plus 2. So for this tutorial I need to make 18 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and 18. Now we want to go to the second chain from our hook and remember we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, right there we're going to make a single crochet, then chain three, one, two, three, then skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next one. And that's pretty much the pattern for this row. So we're chaining three, one, two, three, skipping three, one, two, three, single crocheting into the next one. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the next. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the last one. Then we want to chain three, one, two, three, and turn our work. In the very first chain three space, we want to go to the middle chain and make a single crochet. Then we're going to skip over to the next chain space and make five double crochets into the center of it. One, two, three, four, Five, and that's pretty much going to be the pattern for this row. So go to your next space and put a, put a single crochet into the center chain. In the next one, we're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, then we're going to single crochet into the very last stitch on this row. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn the work. Now we want to make single crochets into the middle three of those five double crochets from the previous row. So skip the first one and make a single crochet into the next three. So one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and just keep repeating that till we reach the end. So there's our next set of five. So we're going to skip the first one, single crochet into the next three. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and in that chain three space from the previous row, we're going to make a single crochet into the center of it. 
Then we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we want to make three double crochets into this first chain three space. One, two, three, and then in the three single crochets from the previous row, we're going to make a single crochet into the center one. Then for all the other chain three spaces on this row, you're going to make five double crochets into those. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the next set of three single crochets and make a single crochet into the center one. And when you get to the end of the row in that last chain space, you're just going to make three double crochets. So you're ending it just like you started it. <laughs> Two, and three. Then we're going to chain one and turn the work. We want to make a single crochet into the first two stitches. So one, two, chain three, one, two, three. Go to the set of five double crochets from the previous row and make single crochets into the middle three. So skip the first one and single crochet into the next three. So one, two, three, and that's pretty much the pattern for this row. So chain three, one, two, three. And when you get to the end, you only have those three double crochets. So you're just going to single crochet into the last two. So one and two, chain one, and turn the work. We're going to single crochet into the first stitch. Then in the next chain space, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the three single crochets from the previous row, we're going to make a single crochet into the middle one. And that's pretty much the pattern for this row. So there's our next space, so we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then make a single crochet into the very last stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn the work. And that's pretty much this pattern. You just keep repeating rows two through six until you reach your desired height. And when you get done, you should end up with a pattern that looks like this. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and if so, please subscribe to the channel for more nifty tutorials and patterns. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.